Chinese SpaceX Starship competitor, just landed a rocket vertically, and according to Elon Musk, various historical achievements happened on SpaceX's competitor's rocket launch that people are not aware of. And Elon Musk surprised everyone by sharing his insights about the mistakes that have been made by SpaceX competitors. As Elon says now, we can say for sure that we are very close to landing humans on the moon and Mars. This is a lot of new information. So let's explain according to Elon Musk how this Chinese SpaceX Starship competitor just landed a rocket vertically. So, a Chinese rocket company, iSpace, successfully conducted a test flight of its Hyperbola 2Y single-stage hopper at the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center on November 2nd. This test is a significant step in iSpace's ambition to create a reusable launch vehicle, similar to the achievements of SpaceX with its Falcon 9 rocket. During the test, the Hyperbola 2's methane liquid oxygen reusable stage ascended to a height of 178 meters over 51 seconds. It then executed a controlled descent and gently landed on four legs. The test rocket, measuring 3.35 meters in diameter and 17 meters in length, was powered by the Focus 1 engine, capable of varying thrust. This vertical takeoff and landing experiment is a milestone in the development of a medium-lift reusable rocket planned for introduction in 2025. It demonstrated iSpace's expertise in variable thrust propulsion using Methalox, as well as their capabilities in vertical landing, navigation, and control systems. This test will also inform future recovery and reuse strategies. While the flight didn't show a restart of the Focus 1 engine, iSpace has successfully performed ground restart tests previously. The Hyperbola 2 rocket, a two-stage vehicle utilizing methane and liquid oxygen, is capable of delivering a payload of 1.9 tons to low Earth orbit. This successful hop test is part of iSpace's strategy to develop the Hyperbola 3 rocket, which will feature a reusable first stage. The company has decided to bypass the smaller Hyperbola 2 design, as mentioned at the 9th China International Commercial Aerospace Forum held in July. The Hyperbola 3 rocket, targeting its inaugural flight in 2025, is designed to carry 13.4 metric tons to low Earth orbit. Plans for demonstrating its reuse capabilities are set for 2026. This 69-meter-long rocket will have the capacity to transport 8.5 tons to LEO in a reusable configuration. By 2030, iSpace envisions conducting up to 25 Hyperbola 3 launches annually. Additionally, iSpace is developing the Hyperbola 3B, a triple-core variant similar to SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, capable of lifting a minimum of 15 tons to LEO iSpace gained recognition as the first private Chinese company to achieve orbit in 2019 with its solid-fueled Hyperbola 1 rocket. Despite experiencing three subsequent failures with this rocket, the company achieved a successful return to flight earlier this year and anticipates further launches, competing with Galactic Energy's Series 1 and XPace's Quizhou rockets. iSpace is not alone in the Chinese market for reusable rockets. Galactic Energy recently conducted a hop test using a jet engine-powered vehicle. CAS Space, originating from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, has also performed similar tests, while Deep Blue Aerospace completed a notable kilometer-level rocket launch and landing test in 2022. Currently, SpaceX stands as the only entity to have successfully developed a rocket capable of vertical soft landings and multiple reuses. Their Falcon 9 rocket has been integral in various missions, ranging from deploying Starlink satellites to transporting astronauts and supplies to the International Space Station. While China's space program predominantly relies on the Long March rockets, the country's space authorities acknowledge the ongoing competitiveness of these rockets, but also recognize the importance of developing new technologies, including reusable rockets, to lower future costs. Chinese scientists have made significant strides in rocket technology, achieving milestones like landing a rover on Mars and retrieving samples from the moon. However, the application of these technologies in reusable vehicles has been limited mostly to smaller-scale tests. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has made various comments about his company's competitors in the space industry. He tends to approach competition with a blend of respect for their achievements and a confident belief in SpaceX's superiority in certain aspects. Musk often emphasizes the importance of innovation and cost-effectiveness in space exploration, areas where he believes SpaceX excels. Musk has also commented on international competitors, recognizing their achievements while maintaining a focus on SpaceX's goals and progress. He acknowledges the historical significance of agencies like NASA, Roscosmos, Russia, and ESA, European Space Agency, in space exploration, and sees their experience as valuable. 
Moreover, Musk occasionally engages in lighthearted or competitive banter on social media regarding space exploration, reflecting his ambitious and sometimes provocative public persona. This approach has helped to increase public interest in space travel and the activities of SpaceX. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.